Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to show you how to design an XNOR gate out of CMOS. So here's an introduction. The symbol for an XNOR gate looks like this. The truth table, if we take the two inputs, A and B, looks like this, 1, 0, 0, 1. And the equation is the following. So this is how XNOR gate looks like. So the most important thing is to utilize this equation because this is going to be very, very important. So let's now focus to write down our pull-up network and our pull-down network and then write down the equations for each of them. So. For a pull-up, what we basically do is apply the inverse of this equation. So we have a times b, so what we have is the inverse of a plus, because there's a dot here, the inverse of b. So we have this inverse of a plus inverse of b. And then for this, we apply the same concept, but this time, uh, since there's already an inverse, there's won't be in the pull-up network section. So we have A, and then we have B here, and then we're going to uh, have a plus sign. And then here, we're going to group them together by the inverse in which we get this dot right here. And for our pull-down, it's really, really easy. It's simply the same thing same equation. Now let's draw our CMOS circuit. So now what we know, our pull-up, our pull-down, let's write down our equations. So let's first draw our pull-out network circuit. So we have VDD. And right here, I'm going to draw this circuit right here. And then let's draw our circuit here, A plus B. And then since there's an AND state here, we're going to connect them in series like this. So there's our pull-up network and our pull-down network. We have A times B, so we have that in series. And then we have this in series again, but both this time both A and B is an inverse. And then finally here we have our uh, zero output and then our high. So 
excuse me, so this is low and this is high. And this is our, here is our output. Now here is our CMOS circuit, but we're not done yet because this is not how an XNOR, XNOR gate works. As you know, this is how the XNOR gate works is with these following uh, outputs, this truth table. But the problem is, is that this doesn't match it. So what we need to do is we simply just have to apply an inverter to it and this will operate like an XNOR gate. So let's just draw an inverter here. And there we go. That's our XNOR gate. Hope you guys get a snapshot of this just in case if you guys want to use this uh, for uh, your uh, homework. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.